The night is dark and long, but light will come. Welcome to one of our videos from St. Mark's Episcopal in Dalton, Georgia. And welcome all those joining us on Facebook and YouTube and appreciate your support and your comments that you send to us. Uh, this is the first uh, vlog we've had in the uh, uh, Christmas season, I'm sorry, the Christian season of Advent, the beginning of the Christian calendar year. And Advent is the time to prepare for the coming of uh, our Lord Jesus, uh, both as in the Nativity and in the Second Coming, and also prepare for uh, the Kingdom of God during this time. And it's a time of usually great joy. This is the time when the angels said, Rejoice and bring to you good news. This is the season that ends with us walking out of the church on Christmas Eve with lit candles singing Joy to the World. But for many people, this is not necessarily a joyous time. Instead of, of joy, uh, there's sadness. Instead of rejoicing, there's despair. Because many people during this time of year, particularly in the holiday season, suffer from the loss of uh, grieving for the loss of loved ones. Others suffer from uh, depression or despair or just the, the dramas that's going on in their life. So this is not a joyful time for everyone. I personally can relate to this because I am I am very much grieving for the loss of a loved one during this time. And also, I have uh, lived with and endured depression for over 50 years. So I certainly can relate to those people who uh, look at this, um, this season differently. And uh, in Christianity, we can accept that because while many people look for the joy and the, the uh, rejoicing at Christmas and everything, others are sad, others are in despair, others do have depression. During this time of Advent, there's also a special day called Blue Christmas. Now, Blue Christmas occurs around December 21st, which is the shortest day of the year as far as sunlight, but also the longest night of the year. It is also the, around the feast day of St. Thomas, the disciple who uh, is known for doubting Jesus after the resurrection until he met the risen Christ and then called him my Lord. But he, had, he started out with doubt before uh, involving his faith. And uh, many uh, Episcopal churches and many churches from other denominations uh, don't celebrate, but they commemorate Blue uh, Christmas. It is a service to worshiping God. But it's also a service that recognizes and acknowledges grief. It acknowledges despair, it acknowledges depression. It acknowledges that there are people who are hurting during this time. Now, uh, God said Jesus to the world, he was Emmanuel, God among us, but he was fully human. And Jesus also experienced failure in his life. When he first went back to Nazareth at the beginning of his ministry, he tried and failed to heal some people. Some of his miracles did not work at Nazareth. He experienced despair uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane when he prayed and uh, uh, was very uh, sad about uh, what was to come about. He also uh, experienced isolation and uh, loneliness on the cross. We cried out, by God, by God, why have you forsaken me? Uh, the theologian G.K. Chesterton uh, has made the observation that Christianity is the only religion which God temporarily became an atheist. Think about that. So Jesus knows what it's like to be sad, knows what it's like to be in despair, to knows what it's like to be depressed and, and to lose things and to, to be hurting. So therefore, you know, we can acknowledge that as we celebrate, uh, commemorate Blue Christmas during this time, along with commemorating uh, the Advent and the joy of the coming of Christ. Now, because someone is in despair or depression during this time, doesn't mean a lack of faith. As an example, Mother Teresa, who is probably the best example of Christian faith and of uh, of being a, a saint during the 20th century, suffered from depression her entire adult life, but still was able to serve God and celebrate uh, Jesus during the time. So as we come upon this Advent, you know, we let's do acknowledge those and appreciate those who, who do are hurting, who have despair and have grief and are grieving for a loved one or just have depression or whatever, because we as Christians understand that the night is long and dark but light will come. And for this we can say, this Advent and every other, thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.